So yesterday it was Independence Day of 4th of July and now we're going to be doing for about for those for the Berkshire test for the whistle test for one more until it's going to be absolutely going to be returning back to Comic Studio anytime soon. But whatever we try to do is we're going to be doing for one more whistle test for about of those tier 5 locomotives. Which is actually for the Berkshire GS4s and the 611 Class J. So, we're going to be about to hearing this out. And before we're going to be start of this video, I'm absolutely announcing for to do this as well. That we got actually for the, the Berkshire with no boards. The Berkshire, I'm going to be trying to rename of these things. The Polar Express Berkshire, the GS4 Daylight Christmas. The Southern Pacific GS4 American Freedom Train and the the Class J as well. This is the Clay G yes as well. I'm probably sure it will be the name of J Class as well. But as you can see here about of those new locomotive and because of its yesterday that hopefully wishes that completely remodeled the GS4 like this thing and now for just one day later, it has finally remodeled as well as you wish of this locomotive finally remodeled in 2024. It was actually pretty insane about of this locomotive, including for such as the tender one as well. As we're gonna be trying to hear for this test of this whistle. Because apparently in about the beginning of this video, the performance was extremely bad as hell. And unfortunately, my computer is really old. And I won't able to change for a new computer whatsoever. So let's not talk about of anything about of these things. Let's hear the whistles from all the way to the end. So, we're starting in for the, the PM Berkshire with no boards was actually gonna be insanely like this thing train as well it's not gonna be the 765 above of this locomotive let's try to hear this out about of the 1940s and we're gonna be about to say it about this thing as we're gonna be hearing this out and let's hearing for this out for just to do so as well so the testing could be able to be starting in three, two, one. I'm no, I'm not starting the countdown because those steam whistles have came here from for nothing that I just tried to do so because this is actually heard from the video sources. This is actually for some sort of the video sources of the Blue Comet Productions and lots of channels of the Dynamic Studios as well. So, let's get to be try to hear this in 3, 2, 1, scream it. That was absolutely, probably insanely good. But this is actually going to warn people about some sort of the steam whistle that says, Get out of my way, you blittering idiot. As well, that is actually, really sounds... I'm not sure this isn't going to be pretty good because that warns the other kinds of drivers to stay out of the rails and let those and let the train pass through as really fast as over 100 miles an hour or even over 70 miles an hour as well. And what about for its next one? It, this train was actually the same whistle as well. As we're about to hear this out, oh no, this is not going to be requesting about of this deny about this thing as well. So, I'm changing about of those things to click around, and it's not going to be doing. These whistles have just absolutely sounds like the same as this. Is it going to be keep on whistle for like these things? And it's all the same as well, because it's actually pretty good as well. 
wood is actually going to be pretty loud as nonsense anyways, because... This was actually even for more perfect as anything about of those things. And I'm going to be using the 1225 as I'm going to be trying to step away from this ridiculous steam locomotive any far away. I'm going to be running as far away as I can. I mean, I'm going to be running away as far as I can. To hear the whistle from every two miles as you can see yet you might get to hear this this is actually ridiculously weird as hell so if i'm gonna be using for this whistle this was actually sounds perfect like anything it goes such as the polo express like anything it goes like everything as well so it definitely sounds far like anything but to do this because this whistle for sounds perfect and because of this video sources was actually the film or the actual film from the Apollo Express movie. So this steam whistle was actually ridiculously loud but more louder than a single horn was actually pretty kind of stupid as well and that was sounds not the BNR of the locomotive this is actually sounds like the Freightliner Cascadia when it's actually the source of that sound as well and looks like up next is the GS4 locomotives as well but I'm probably pretty sure that we're gonna be sound as pretty loud as well and this one is actually the same as the GS4 locomotives as the low pitch. I think this is actually for the same as the 4430 in the 4430 locomotives as well. And probably should be able to do this as well. Because I think remember about those locomotives within the daylight locomotive and the war bonnet locomotive as well so we're gonna be checking out of this the number 4449 as we're about to hear this the famous six chime whistle what really it is as we will be hearing this sound was actually gonna be said to scream it by the way as we'll look on to the hearing about to say all aboard America in three Two, one, scream it! Whoa! Whoa! That was actually pretty ridiculous as well. It completely sounds like the Nickel Plate Road 765, but anyways, that we're gonna be trying to hear another one. Nope, that is not gonna be the case, I guess. Let's just hear it for one more time before we're going to be moving to one more locomotive before the video ends. That sounds pretty obviously perfect, sounds beautiful, and whatever that was pretty ridiculously sounds that I just discovered that whistle was even more insanely to do so. When I just probably using for the number 4449 was actually even perfect choice to do so. It was actually that says happy 4th of July and about of those events. Because it's actually even yesterday the model has been remodeled as to do so. And finally could be rolled on with some assets. But unfortunately we're not adding for some using for the assets as well. And the last one is the 611 Class J unless this is absolutely is gonna be the 5 or 6 chime low pitch as well that we're hearing the sound for one more wait there it goes for the one last sound as well but I'm probably sure this is a little bit infamous as well so we're going to be hearing this again in 3, 2, 1. Roar sound. I guess this is actually before that we're going to be end of this video as well.
Apparently, this is gonna be about to wrapping up for this video because it's time to rename for about of those locomotives. We should be able to call them for the number 611. I mean, this is not gonna be going for around here. Let's call it for 611 and 4425. And this is actually gonna be going for around here. This is the 4450. Since we actually got here, let's say 69, I guess. What is the value of those locomotives is around here? 44, I mean, it, this is actually 4469. So, which is that I just completely renamed the locomotive. Because before the end of this video comes, we're about to listen for this the 611 Class J whistle first before that the video could be ended shortly after this. The 4449 Wait. Here it comes. That sounds pretty obviously a little bit beautiful but less ugly. But what about the 4469 that I just renamed about this? Because did you know that I just renamed about for the 4469? Could be stand for the Holiday Express from Cookie Run Kingdom. Let's just hear this out for just... Could you stop that whistle? That sounds pretty insanely cut it out. So hearing this once again. One more. Perfect. That was pretty actually good. And finally, this is about to the end of this video. So don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And the game is linked in the description down below. And you might didn't enjoy this video because of... The computer's performance is way better than anything as well. So we just almost forgot to say we're gonna be trying to still finding address by releasing the loco because the DCC address was actually says try to do this because I'm gonna be saying thanks for watching and for all your support and this is gonna be Turbo Concept is signing off and I'll talk to you rail fanners and Americans all later at last and we should be able to call him for about ourselves as well. It does not working, but it is. So I definitely try to release the locomotive as well. So you find a dress and you switch the locomotives. It's probably still working, but it's actually pretty good. But the 4469, which stands for, for some sort of a Cookie Run Kingdom references, of the Holiday Express. And now we should call him 766. That is the updated version of the Nickel Plate Road 765. So I completely renamed the battle of this locomotive. And the name of this locomotive is the PMN1 Workshire. I my things is not gonna be for Workshire as well. So this is actually for Berkshire as well. But as you can see here, and I'm gonna be completely the end of this video. For finally, and this is going to be the name of this train, the number 766. That is the renamed of for this updated version of the Nickel Plate Road. Berkshire as well.